are the Yeezy Slide Orchard Okre Okur how do you say this thing? Are the Yeezy Side Okre, as I'm gonna say it, worth it? Hey everybody, I'm Mac Torres, and today we're gonna answer that question. Welcome back to the Yoni channel on YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and sneakers. And before we unbox this video, be sure to like and share for that YouTube agri that this is your first time viewing, as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. Now let's go unbox these bad boys. First off, I always like to talk about the box. This is pretty standard, what you see from a Yeezy box. Kind of like this cardboard feeling, but uh, there's no boost on it or anything on the side like a 350 would have just because it's a non-boost model. And we have slide on the top. And also, these boxes are pretty small compared to other Yeezy boxes. I don't know, I feel like a size 10 Easy boxes are way bigger than this. Anyhow, sliding open, lifting up that wrapping paper, and woo, here they are. First impressions of these CC slides, they feel a lot different than what I expect to feel, and they're a lot lighter too. See how fast I can spin this thing. Oh shit, okay. Here is a closer look at the Yeezy Slide Okre. Some background information. This thing released on the 13th of December of this year, 2021. I did a live cop on this, so this is where this Yeezy comes from. Shout out to Certified Sneaker Guides for helping me out on that. And they retailed for a lovely $60. Which isn't too bad, actually, for a slide. You know, I spent more on on Palm Angels and on Gucci slides. However, the resale on these are actually kind of crazy. They've actually been going on a lot because these things have been restocking a lot. Right now a size 10 like this on StockX is going right about $110. And this Yeezy slide is made up of entirely of what's called EVA foam in a monochromatic fashion. Yeah, it's basically all one color. And the color, of course, of this Yeezy is called Okre. I feel like I'm getting a lot of hate comments of this Yeezy for how to pronounce it, but screw it. Anyways, well, is this slide worth it? Is it worth paying as much for resale for something like a Gucci slide for them? Let's start by talking about the styling of the slide, starting with the outsole. So the outsole is basically a bunch of jagged rivets going down the entire cross of it. Kind of looks like something you would see from like, you know, like a boot or maybe some, you know, modern designer wear actually this jagged look. I guess it's supposed to give you more grip or something like that. I don't know. Pretty weird. What it's made to do is help provide some more traction and support, but also kind of give it a cool little styling twist. I don't know, but it's it's pretty different from what you normally see from slides, which I like. And it's one of the key distinct features of this slide, I would say. One of the things that really poke at you the most. I'll swoop up to the uppers of the slide. Now, the uppers of the slide is molded into one piece, it seems like. You know, the sole kind of seems like it's attached on right there with that line. And the rest of it is kind of one unit. And the way that the sneaker is molded is supposed to give, like, maybe, like, an earthly vibe to it. You know, more natural you know, it looks like it came from nature type of vibe going on here. But the only really breaking line on this slide is towards the back of the heel right here. I guess this line and groove over here was added just for styling. It kind of seems like it was maybe going to add in like a strap to it right here or something like that. Kind of like what Crocs have or something. Or maybe they kind of did this to make it less dense so your uh, foot kind of fits in softly. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. But uh, adds just a little bit of a styling touch. Continue on the whole unit feel of the slide. We have the arch where your foot goes in. Kind of like the foot strap as I like to call it. And it is kind of molded really nicely. It kind of, you know, slopes and swoops down. Kind of like it was made in a wind tunnel. Kind of feels a little, you know, kind of like aerodynamic and almost sporty-like, like a natural sporty-like though. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks like it can do some damage. <laughs> there's almost like a, there's kind of like a cutout smiley oval right here, so your feet, you know, can be open-toed. <laughs> kind of looks like a mouth. The slide kind of looks like an expression that's like surprised to see something like that, like, hey, what's up? I don't know, I don't know how I really describe that, but uh, anyways, let's move on to things like the 
inside of the slide. Now, of course, the footbed of the slide is very concave to kind of fit your foot pretty nicely. There's also on the back right here, a little spot where they put the Adidas logo right there, just in case if you forgot who Kanye is really working for here. And of course, they also added some bumps right there to kind of fit your toes a little better. So it kind of makes it more comfortable. And on the top portion of the foot arch here, we see it has some markings that says Yeezy. Got the Yeezy logo right there. And also it says Lou made in China. Not sure what Lou's means. Someone can comment down below what that means. But yeah, it's also made in China. We also got the sizing tab on the other side of the arch right there. As you can see, it's a size 10. Now let's talk about this EVA foam for a second. Now when I got this in hand, this slide feels very, very... I gotta say cheap you know it doesn't feel sturdy it feels like if I try really hard to bend it I could probably rip it but also on the bright side of it these slides are actually really comfortable I have put on these slides myself and I gotta say they're more comfortable than my Yeezy slides and maybe more comfortable than my Palm Angel slides Definitely more comfortable than these things though. These things have gave me blisters before. They say that beauty is pain, but with the Yeezy Slide, it doesn't have to be that way. Speaking about beauty, let's talk about how to style the Yeezy Slide. Now, I was gonna go really plain and basic with these, but you can be actually super versatile with these slides. I mean, this may slides may seem like something you have to wear for like the spring or the, the summertime, but no, I see people rocking fall outfits with these even winter outfits with these. You know, but how I would style these slides, I mean, I'm definitely more of a summer guy, so definitely some shorts, maybe a nice uh, tee, you know, maybe olive green shorts with some uh, maybe uh, brown mocha, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some like olive green or mocha shorts with some maybe white or gray shirt, something like that. That's how I would style it because I'm such a spring or summer styler. But like, I've seen a lot of people go crazy with these and you know, it's honestly really up to you how you want to style your Yeezy slides. But the only key thing I would honestly say is just keep it with the earth colors, like the olive green, mocha, all that stuff. I think that stuff works best with Yeezy slides. But other than that, go crazy. You can style this however you want. And also, it's pretty comfortable. So you can wear this all day with pretty much anything. A big thing you gotta keep note of with this slide is the sizing. See, I'm a size nine and this is a size 10 and this does fit just a little bit too big. Maybe the size nine will fit me just right, but I've seen people with like wider feet go true to size with the slide and it's, it's too small. It's way too small even and it's weird, you know, people with different feet does not fit the slide right you know so i would highly recommend if you have the chance trying a pair before buying now if i had to rate this slide on a scale between one and ten i'm gonna say there are seven it gets most of its points for being kind of comfortable and light and stuff but the style for me i mean the natural look is kind of cool but I still prefer the look of my Palm Angels or my Gucci slides over this. However, I prefer the wear of this slide compared to those other ones. I just don't really like the, the styling all that much. It seems very trendy to me. I mean, they're neat, they're different, and I, you know, somewhat dig the vibe, but not all the way 100% on board with it. If you can get this slide for retail, it's honestly not a bad buy, but paying resale, pretty hefty pretty hefty man so let's talk about the future of this slide right now you know where this slide is heading you know and i think this this slide is a good hold you know i feel like next year these slides are going to be in of course you know with uh spring and summertime you know they're still releasing new colorways so there's a lot to look out for so i honestly do see prices of the sneaker going up maybe in the mid 200 to Possibly even $300 if the Yeezy slide craze continues to grow as heavy as it is right now. Right now they're kind of settling down with all the restocks that have been happening right now, but I can definitely see these things jumping up in the future for sure. And yeah, that really there all is to it for this slide. So the Yeezy slide oak rate. <coughs> so the Yeezy slide oak rate. What'd you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm, and last, but certainly not least, subscribe. I'm going to exit off with some unfeed footage, so let's get to it.